Hi, everybody. Welcome to The Secret Yarnery. I hope you had a great week. Today, we're going to be talking about best, fastest, quickest, is that a word, quickest, uh, gifts to make either for Christmas or gifts or just to have a good stack of, I think I have to shut my door, <laughs> uh, just to get ready for the season or if you are uh, going to be stocking up or you have presents to make or you're just starting to crochet, there'll be easy, fast presents that you can do now and have ready for Christmas. Oh, let me see. Is it working? Good morning, everybody. Hello. Let me just check I'm on the right internet. Oh, let me see. E e that's me being a problem. Okay. I didn't have my internet on. Hey, me. I hope it's working. I feel like so. I haven't been doing videos like normal, so I feel super out of touch. Like, I feel like a housewife trying to make a video. Don't joke. Hey, Catherine. Hey, Jane. Hello, everybody. Donna. Hello. Let me shut that door. It's a bit loud in here. Yeah, sorry. Refresh your screen. I had my Wi Fi turned off because I was outside all day. <laughs> so anyway, it should be working now. Just refresh your screen and we'll be caught up. It'll be good. I no one else is on my internet. Hey, Amanda. Nice to see you. How's everything in the UK? Hey, Nika. Okay, let me shut this door super quick. Oh, it smells delicious. Eee. Eee. Okay. Uh, I also forgot my winner. Of course I did. All right. Now I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Hi, Dawn. Hi, Mary. Hope everyone's having a super great week. So just to get started, I don't have my little things printed out. Uh, of course I don't. So, hey Robin. So, oh, I didn't slow it down either. Ah, one minute. Yes, I can. I have it right here. Where is it? One minute. Events, edit, advance, slow mo, save. Back to chat. Okay. Better? I hope so. Oh, we're at nine seconds, so I think it should be all right. Mabel, she's, she's a rock star. She's doing super great. She's around somewhere. Oh, she's behind my, um, she's behind the hippo. Can you see her on the ground over there? <laughs> she's resting. She's resting. She's got a big cone on her head. She's not a fan of the cone. Yeah, she was. <laughs> Yeah, and so is uh, Churchill. They're around. They're getting pretty good now. They're getting pretty like, uh, they're getting pretty okay. So on to the fast gifts, just to get it, get it going. This is not a fast gift, but it's big and it'll be in the way. Yeah, it is kind of shame. Oh, but she even lets me put it on. She like puts her head in and she's like, okay, put it on. I'm like, you sweet thing, right? Uh, this, Heidi Bears, no tutorial. It is a paid for pattern. Hello, hello. Uh, on Ravelry or wherever else you can find Heidi Bears, just do a search for Heidi, like the Swiss Alps and bears like the animal, Heidi Bears. And she has all of these really great patterns. They're $6, but totally worth it. And this is Happy Potamus. Yeah, it's a great one. You can just use scrap yarn. My first one, this is my second one I did. My first one took longer. I was new, kind of new at crocheting. It took me, I wanna say like 10 days. Lampshade doggy, hi Ray, <laughs> nice to see you. Uh, and I just used scrap yarn and then joined all in one color, which I think was really great. Hello to Kamloops, hi Karen, love Kamloops. Must be hot, hot? Cherries, okay, don't start me. Don't start me um scrap yarn to make it but this one i just picked blues and then joined in gray blues and greens so i love him a lot his name's walter hmm? 
This pattern you can buy on Ravelry, depending on how you sit with Ravelry. It is by Heidi Bears. Heidi Bears. Takes some time to do, but you can just make all of the squares, like all of the different hexagons. And then you just have to really pay attention to which one you are joining. The pattern will tell you, but in your head, you're always smarter than the pattern. You're like, oh yeah, this one, the color's gonna go great. And then, you know, then you have to frog back. You have to like take it apart to take out their different um, petal counts. So the biggest one is here on her bum or his bum. This is eight, so eight petals around this one. And the smallest one is five. No, the nose, nose is four. See these nostrils. So they all have a different, hey Chris, what's up? Nice to see you. Uh, they all have a different petal count. So you really have to be, you just have to pay attention. Like you do have to follow the pattern. You can't just go rogue and do your own thing. But you can do it because you're making pieces and literally joining. And the pattern says join as you go. It's kind of like hard and everything like that. But it's not hard. You just have to go slow. You just have to make sure you counted the right petals for that flower first. And there's tons of pictures. It's like a 20 page pattern. So like you can totally do it. And you can obviously make the African flowers. I have a tutorial on my channel to make the flowers. And then joining, you can follow um, Heidi Bears. No, she never gave me permission. It's a paid for pattern and it's probably her biggest seller. So I mean, I totally get it, but um, I still love it. I love it. Two hot days. We are, I'm totally fine now. It's freezing in the morning. By freezing, I mean like maybe 17 degrees. Ooh. But now in the afternoon, it's probably like 24 Celsius. So I'm totally fine with it. Yeah, the hippo is totally worth it. She has a bunch of animals. She probably has about like 20 different animals you can make. I also did the, my tortoise turtle. Where is, where is Haley? She always corrects me on these things. I also did the tortoise, which is super cute. I did the giraffe. I don't like the giraffe. There's something wrong with the neck. The neck's not right. But totally try it out. Yeah, she has a ton of different animals. Whatever animal you really like, she'll have a pattern of how to do it. <gasps> 40.7 degrees Celsius in the Netherlands? Oh my gosh, I'd be cooking eggs on my sidewalk. So I have not seen Haley Maley. That's what I was saying, where is she at? I don't even know how to pronounce things properly without her. Anyway, this is a good one. Good to start now. It's, it's a super impressive thing to make. You can make it smaller by using a thinner yarn and a smaller hook. This is um, Kenyan acrylic. So it's a chunky four weight yarn. And I used a five millimeter hook. No tutorial. It's a paid for pattern, not my design, but you can go to Ravelry or do a Google search for Heidi Bears and buy it from Heidi Bears. Totally right. It's like impressive. And what my other girlfriend suggested is filling it like really solid like maybe the feet with little sandbags and you know the body really solid with horse hair or something and making it as a foot rest that would be so cool right i think you'd have to put pantyhose inside like stuff it with pantyhose so that the stuffing doesn't come out but that would be a super like i would love walter to be a foot rest yes right the velvet yarns you could do different textures, like all the same color, but different textures. Oh, you guys have such hot weather. How hot is it where you are? I have my thermometer. I think it's on my desk because I've been carrying it around outside while I cry. Oh, hello to Vancouver Island. Where are you at on Vancouver Island? I love Vancouver Island. I love the ferry ride to Vancouver Island. Hey, Lika, what's up? Hi, Fibro. Hi, Sid. Okay, I'm going to put him down. I could cuddle him all day. <laughs> it's like what I do. I'm like, do you wanna, let's talk about something else. <laughs> I'll still be holding him. You guys have it hot. Let me find my, let me find my thermometer. Oh, I think it's on my desk. Oh, Jesus. Maybe not. Oh, here it is. Huh. I'm more organized than I thought. 76.1 Fahrenheit. I'm cool with that. Hello to Montreal, 74 in Tennessee, and 24.7 in Celsius. I'm totally cool with that. The mornings are really chilly. Well, 
I'm, a, I'm delicate. They're like 16 or 17 degrees. And now I have the two puppies. So I'm literally like, it's twilight and I'm outside doing the, you know, the toilet run in flip flops because I don't have any winter shoes. <laughs> so does she have an Etsy shop? Is that Heidi Bears has an Etsy shop? Probably. She's everywhere. She's like the person. And she's from South Africa, represents South Africa. Totally great. Hi, Linda. Hi, Magical Hooking. Hi, Mary. Shell, nice to see you. Wow, it's hot in the, it's hot in the UK. 30, uh, 33 to 39. Yikes. What is going on? Uh, Pup, uh, Sharon, she's doing great. She, she's over behind my hippo. I should just move my hippo, but sorry, this is so wobbly. I got some new thing and it's not as good as my other tripod by like a mile. Can you, can you see her over there? She's very, she's the same color as my ground. I'm trying to not show my mess. Oh, there she is, bottom corner. Little coat on her head. She's sleeping, she's doing great. She is doing great. Uh, she had a little cherry eye. She had a little thing pop out. So we had it put back together, little envelope, double stitched, full of back in her face. Yeah, <laughs> that's her bum. <laughs> her bum is doing great. No, her eye's actually really great too. The vet was like, it'll take a while. See, I'm back with Walter, right? We can just hang out. Okay, Walter, Walter's co-hosting. Uh, the vet was like, it's going to take a few days, like four or five days. Like, you know, her eyes going to be all swollen. Oh, she's fine. How many balls of each color for the border of my pastel? What? Okay, hold on. How many balls of each color did you use to border your pastel cotton blanket? Ooh, I would say one, one and a half. Are you talking about the Ancona? No, not Ancona. See, I haven't even been crocheting. I can point to it. This, what is it called? Who's helping me? You're talking about the C to C with the fancy border, right? What's it called? Oh, sorry, Sin, you have a splint on your wrist and you can't crochet. Alara, thank you, Mary, appreciate it. Yes, Alara. I, it was pretty much one ball, maybe one in a smudge. Not much, not much. Is that a giant crochet slipper on the ground next to Mabel? Probably. <laughs> if I had to bet. <laughs> oh, I, have, I hope your uh, doctor's appointment goes well. Yeah, you'll have enough. You'll have enough. You, yeah, it's pretty great. One of my friends made the most amazing drunken granny and then she just did her own board around and one end of like part of one end is a, is like a different yarn. It's the same yarn in the blanket, but not from that round. It's a designer feature. It's called a designer feature. So if you do have to fudge your colors for a border, that's a feature. People do it like that. Hey, Dee, nice to see you. I know, Friday, right? It totally catches up on me. Even today, it was like 4.30, so I do live at 5. Like, it's 5 p.m. my time when I start. Didn't I subscribe, Sandy? I feel like I have to do it now, but that would be rude. <laughs> Hold on, talk amongst yourselves. I gotta go subscribe to Sandy's channel. I didn't subscribe. Maybe I did it. Maybe I didn't. Who even knows? Send me a thingy. Pound me about it. I'm totally cool. Over 100 degrees in Fresno. At least in California, you would think it would be warm, right? Summer, but it does seem like a warmer summer because it's my winter. I'm, I'm not even, I'm not even freaking out and like bundled up. You know, <laughs> hello to New York. You're getting ice yarns today. Oh, I might be getting ice yarns. I got an email saying there was new yarns and I was like, I'll look at them. I'll look at them, please. So, I mean, I hope so. My days are so messed up. It's crazy. I have no idea. And I haven't really slept for two nights because Mabel has the cone on her head for two nights. So the first night, obviously, you're just worried. Uh, she's like a three, she's just turned three months, English Bulldog, from Prague. So she flew in and you're all, you know, you're, she's just getting settled. And then we sent her for surgery. 
which was great. It took us just a few hours. It was like easy peasy, but you worry about her. And then like at night, she's like crashing around and you're like, ah, like, you know, clearly she's having a heart attack. I mean, obviously, right? She's not, but I'm awake. I'm like fussing. And then that's my second night now. So I'm like, I mean, and now I know she's fine. I'm not so freaked out. Oh, you got the pattern, Mary. Congratulations. Shell, you get ice yarn today. I'm so lucky. You are so lucky. Oh, anyway, that's me. I have no idea what day it is. Like, I really have to keep track of like Friday because it feels like it's like Monday, Tuesday, and then it's Monday, Tuesday again. Like, where's the rest of the days? I have no idea. She's actually like, she'll put her head in it. I'm like, what? I think because she likes, because it maybe it kind of scratches, like when, like it pulls. So maybe she likes how it feels when it like goes over her head. I should do my whole video like that. <laughs> do a little Jane Fonda. Hmm? <laughs> anyway, she, she doesn't mind putting it on. I was like, what is going on? Like even try, like I try to hide it and like, I don't call her over. I just go and find her and put it back on. She has to have it taken off to eat. And she's like, yeah, sure. Hmm? Gets it back. I'm like, what? Yay, Dawn, yes. Heidi Bears for the hippo pattern, Heidi Bears. And you have to search for it. It is not my pattern, but I totally support Heidi Bears, a great pattern. There's free versions out there. Like if you don't have the $6, there is like a, I wanna say it's Korean, but I mean, I'm totally going out on a limb saying it's Korean, but there's a chart and it's, if you made one, you could probably use the chart to make another. But, oh, thank you. But Heidi Bear is the designer. You could just support who made it. That's what I say. Oh. You're having ice cream. <laughs> I was like, I'm like, is that a new yarn? <laughs> I didn't even get it. <laughs> Don't joke. It's over a hundred in the Netherlands. That is crazy. Yeah, six fifty. It's a, it's an expensive pattern, and all of her patterns are six fifty. But they're like twenty pages or eighteen pages, depending on which animal it is. And there's a lot of work that goes in. She has a photo of everything you need. Just kind of skip over the page of saying, if you can't do join as you go, be like like I worried about that page. Like maybe I can't do join as you go do join as you go it is not hard and i learned join as you go on a hippo like this but in different colors so don't worry like oh i can't do it it's so much faster to do it and you don't want to sit there stitching them together because if you make a mistake stitching them together you'll be in like it's so much more awful to take it apart to fix it Definitely join as you go. So the pattern's awesome. Skip page two where it says, if you can't join as you go, you can join as you go. I believe in you. You can totally do it. <gasps> Cornetto, get out. My All my kids had Cornettos yesterday. Yesterday? Day before? <laughs> Day before that? I don't know. Sometime this week, they all had Cornettos. They looked really good. Anyway, this is Walter. What is this? This is Happy Potamus from Heidi Bear's Inch in regular craft acrylic. So this would be the same as Saver or Saver 100. Hmm? I love Corinthus too. Well, I don't, I'm, but I'm not a sweet, I'm not sweet. I'm sour. I'm a sour girl. So all my kids have sweet things and I uh, go for salt or oil. What's a Cornetto? Okay, great question. I feel so privileged that, so, that I know something about food that someone else doesn't know. So thank you so much. Uh, it is, uh, you buy them at the grocery store. It's like a pre-packaged ice cream cone. So there's a waffle cone plugged with chocolate at the bottom. So when it melts, it doesn't drip out the bottom. And then uh, chocolate, like filled, not chocolate, but filled with ice cream and whatever. I know, right? You do filled with whatever goodness inside and then topped with whatever. So you can have like an M&M Cornetto, you can have a flake bar Cornetto, you can have like a, car a caramel or whatever. Tons of different Cornettos out there. Plain Cornetto is just literally chocolate plug at the bottom, waffle cone, ice cream, like soft serve ice cream back to the top with uh, chocolate at the top. And you kind of, yeah, they're good. Did I do it right? I think so. Yeah. They're, deli they're delicious, but they're sweet. Obviously they're sweet. I saw Toblerone ice cream. Okay, let me not, let me not talk. 
like a drumstick. Uh-huh. Yeah, see, I go to KFC. <laughs> I'd be like, mmm, 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 mmm. and all my kids would be like, can I have ice cream? I'd be like, give me some salty meat. Mm -hmm. You uh, what? I love flake, but could only get them in the UK. Oh, we have them here. We all have, they all, they all had flake this week. And my son was particular. He's like, make sure it's flake. I'm like, okay, connoisseur, connoisseur of cornettos. Anyway, so this is a good project to start. You can totally get it done. Give yourself like a month if you're new. If you are not new, like Natalie, it's like a three-day thing just because you get a bit tired. It's a bit tedious. Probably Natalie could do it in a day, in a day of smudge. She totally could. Natalie's very fast. I could probably do one. Flake is a chocolate bar. It's like a, the shape of a Twix but no, no, uh, no biscuit in the center. It's just like, you can make this in a day, Natalie. Don't, don't, don't start. Don't start being funny on me. Um, and so it's just kind of like there's air inside. It's like an arrow bar, but it's not bubbles. It's a, uh, it's layered waffles. Waffles? Layered, waffly. Yeah. Anyway. No filling, air air so just like like very thin chocolate things with a with a full-on chocolate cover so when you bite it it's like there's air inside flaky chocolate i could have said that save save everyone like four minutes flake bar if you ever see one go and get <laughs> go and get it fudgesicles oh i haven't had a fudgesicle i haven't had a creamsicle what are the orange ones? Just an orange popsicle? Is that what I mean? Okay, we're totally onto food. I'm sorry. We're gonna talk about that after. Forever. I even bought Tang just to make pops. Okay, I gotta stop. Okay, so this is Walter. He's great. Start now. Oh, now fast things. Orange creamsicle. Okay, yes. Right. Don't start, don't start. It's a slippery slope and I'm already starving. And my kitchen smells really good right now. Like someone's making bread right over there. So good. Hello, honeydew, nice to see you. Tang is delicious, right? We never get it. I save it just to make popsicles. That's as close to, that's as close to popsicles as I can get. It. Right? <laughs> Oh, Buster Bars. Okay, we're totally, I'm, do I'm down the slope. I'm down the slope. Okay, not talking food. <laughs> I ordered two packs of turkey pepperoni. It's coming like in a week. Russian tea with tang? No, no, what? Send me the, send me the recipe. Email me the recipe. Email me anything about that. I'm all into it. Now, how many African violet hexagons make up the hippo? Mm -hmm. Let me think. I don't. I think my pattern is not even. I think my pattern's in my guest house still. Yes, hair scrunchies. Fastest thing. Hair scrunchies. These take literally like three minutes. No time at all. And if you use a decent yarn, so not. I did. I made my whole. I'm pointing like I have one. Um, my whole first two years of crocheting, I just used regular acrylic and made these scrunchies with like a four weight acrylic. But get yourself a ball of proper yarn. This is mercerized cotton from Ice Yarns. I'll put a link after this goes live uh, in the description box below. Oh, it's also in the tutorial and I linked, did I link the tutorial? I hope I did. Anyway, if you roll your cursor over the screen, I wanna say it's over here, but I could totally be wrong. Roll your cursor to where you see the exclamation mark. Hey, Joe, what's up? Thank you, honeydew. Um, and then there's in the cards, I've linked most of the projects. I don't know if I did the hair ties though. I'm feeling like I didn't, but uh, they're called three minute hair ties on my channel and the yarn to make for them and one ball of yarn it makes all of these colors plus blue. So you basically, and I, I think you get so many from one ball of yarn. 
But with ice yarn, it's a pack of four because it's 100 gram balls. So it's like thousands of, not thousands, I shouldn't exaggerate, almost a thousand or close to a thousand uh, hair ties from a ball of yarn, every color you could basically wear. And these ones are the best, the best. Hmm? They're not in the cards. Yeah, I, I don't think I got that far. I'll link in the description box below after this goes to replay because these are uh, great. They grab your hair like they grip. They don't slip out. You know how you like halfway through the day, you're like tightening your ponytail. N never. You, these stay where you put them and they don't grab your hair. Oh, you have painters. Yay, Melody. New colors. I love it. I love it. I love having painters. I love having a painter. I have a whole project for a painter. So you enjoy your day, Melody. <laughs> we'll talk to you later. They do not grab your hair. They're literally, they're literally great. They, uh, even when you stretch them, you can kind of see the elastic in there, but the yarn keeps your hair away from it. And they wrap, they're like so stretchy. So even if you have like a lot of hair, which I don't, but if you had a lot of hair, um, they hold a lot of hair. You made a lot of them, Linda. They're great. They're genius. So that's all my family uses now. They refuse, they won't use anything else. Inside the scrunchie, I use three regular elastic bands. You'll see in the tutorial on my channel, but three elastic bands is the trick. It's stretchy enough to like get really big, but zingy enough to hold everything together. You love them too, they're the best. I'm like, what was I doing trying to find? And like, you know, like if you have like blonde hair or like a different color hair where you can't, because a lot of hair accessories are for brunettes or black haired people, which is fabulous unless you have not that color hair. So these ones, you could just go and get cotton in your um, hair color and make a bunch of them. You'll never use anything else. They're also a super great gift for anybody or for kids. You can do them in bright colors. You know, like you could do like a 10 pack or a 12 pack or, you know, whatever for a little girl or whatever. Yes, I made, I think there was 50, I think there was 56 on here. I went through one entire color change on my mercerized cotton up there. <laughs> So I, I just saw how many I got and I, I could have made, I think you get about a hundred, at least a hundred from one ball of yarn. Yes, red ones, exactly. Cause you feel like a, like a dodo with like a brown thing or a black thing in your hair. Thanks Jane. So those are a great thing and they're literally three minutes. So even if you made like five for somebody, it's like no time, it's 15 minutes. Your phone is. No, you could like, what yarn did I use? Okay, let me grab the yarn because I didn't. Can you see those colors? So this is Camilla Cotton Magic. They come in a whole bunch of different colorways, but I just love this one a lot. So it is 100 grams, 280 meters, 100% mercerized cotton. So I went through one color rotation and I got about 50 hair ties. It's a bit yellow now in the, I guess it's more like that, those colors, but great colors. So you get about like, six or eight um, hair ties from each of these colors as you go around. So it's super great. Hey, Rainbow. Hey, Denise, what's up? I got you. I saw you this time. Mm hmm. Yeah, so I, I was like, what? Like, how inspirational. So you're like going through your yarn, getting on your, you're like, you're, I'm totally fine making like that many orange ones, you know, like a bunch of orange. And then you're like, okay, then I'll make a bunch of pink. Like so fun, right? Yeah, one round of single crochet. I want to say 30 single crochet, but it depends on your yarn. It depends on your hook. Hmm? Yes, so those are super fast and anybody can literally do it. Dawn's making a hair tie right now. <laughs> 
Grab your three elastics, make it rain. Those are the bomb diggity, like the bomb diggity. My husband will not use any other hair tie. He'll be like, no, get me one. And like, we have to find them. This is all I have left. This used to be totally full. He's taken all of them. So we're down to like the non-boy colors. For the elastic, um, just rubber bands from your stationery shop. What? Yes, that is what people use. I put three regular elastics in there. So those are totally great. There's a tutorial on the channel. Uh, it is not in the cards right now, but I will link it in the description box below, or you can Google three minute hair tie secret yarnery and it will come up. Yeah, triple crochet, it, you could use any stitch, but it, these are just the smallest. So single crochet, you just actually get like a little hair tie that you are not, like it's not an accessory. No such thing as boy colors. <laughs> well, for a 46 year old, there might be, I'm just saying. He couldn't really go to work with <laughs> a little hot pink in there. Hmm? Not without some conversations he wouldn't wanna have. <laughs> I mean, I'd have the conversations, but maybe not, maybe not have so much. So anyway, that is a great thing to do. You could do it with whatever yarn you have. Even if you had, you, I did make them with acrylic, like, um, uh, like Saver or Saver 100, but cotton's the way to go. Or, yes, Denise, I saw you. Did I miss something? Or um, whatever variegated yarn you have, because you get a lot of hair ties from one ball of yarn. I would just go that way too. Even if busting your stash, it's better than what you can get in the store. Like straight up, it's better. So that is super easy and super fast. For a uh, knitter or a crocheter in your life as a gift, a great thing would be the good old yarn on the arm bag. So this, oh, conveniently. Oh, I have a ball of yarn to put in there. So ball of yarn, and you can even put your crochet hook in and you can go around and crochet if you center pull your no it's not a toilet it's just a, it's glitter paper it's on a big roll of glitter paper like cardstock we call it cardstock but if you didn't have a toilet paper roll would work or a paper towel roll would also work but i wanted i wanted sparkle i don't think you can see the sparkle but it's sparkly. Mm -hmm. Hi, Karen. Good morning to you. So then you can walk around. So if somebody called, if you have to like answer the door or go get your phone or go get a new cup of tea, you can like just go, like, as long as you're not making a blanket, like if you're doing something kind of small, then you're like, do, 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 you can go around. So it makes you portable. The other thing this is great for is if you are giving as a gift, you could put a hook inside, perhaps like a clover uh, or a tulip crochet hook, ball of yarn, maybe wrap a pattern, a little PDF pattern around it and give it as a gift to a knitter or crocheter in your life. Hmm? That would be like so cute. And it's like self, it's like a self, um, what do you call it? Self-contained gift candy, right? Love it. Yeah, these are super handy. I've seen nifty DIY holders for hair ties made from Pringle containers. Yeah, see, that would also work, right? But I think for my elastics, I think they'd stretch out a bit. Yes, I can. I'll put a link for this also in the description, not for this, for these. But if you Google um, my video, Three Minute Hair Ties, Secret Urinary, there would be a link. Is there? Maybe there or not. There should be a link for it. Something like that. So that's super great. Yarn on the arm bag. Love it. What else? Two minute slippers. Now don't judge. They're my two minute winter shoes at this point in time. Okay. So I have about four pair and they, I literally wear them every morning when I walk outside. What cotton is it? This one is just natural cotton. That's natural cotton. But if it was me now, I'd use baby cotton. Baby cotton 100G, I love it. <laughs> but this is just cotton. Because on your arm, you don't want acrylic. Just in case it's hot, like today, if, if you're in the US or somewhere cozy, you don't want like too hot 
bands hanging on your arm. You know what I mean? So I figure cotton or bamboo would be great or a uh, cotton silk would also be great. Oh, you're stuck in the hospital, Teresa? Bummer! Home for the weekend, hopefully. And then speedy recovery. Absolutely. So don't judge my winter shoes. But technically, they're two-minute slippers. So don't judge. <laughs> okay, there's a lot of feet in there, okay? So... These are great. I can't even show you the bottom. I walk out, they're shoes. I wear them outside. Mm -hmm. So they're great. They take about 30 minutes each, 25 minutes. So even if you're new, they're great, right, Sin? I love them. So even if you're new, I'll, where can I show you that they're not so dirty? There we go. Okay. <laughs> uh, even if you're new at crochet, two hours is like a sensible amount of time. Like I'm not lying about the two hours. Really, they're 40 minutes. So I'm not calling them 40 minute slippers. You don't feel bad if you don't do them in 40 minutes. You'll do them in two hours and you'll love them. They're super great. So this is um, chenille worsted from Ice Yarns with an acrylic in there. So it would be saver. I can't show you any part of them. They're so dirty. There we go. Saver <laughs> and uh, um, uh, chenille uh, worsted weight. So what you could use in the U.S. would be either obviously the good yarn from Ice Yarn. Yeah, they totally stay on your foot because you you cinch it in on the last round. They're great, right? And they're so comfy. Like they don't feel like you're not stepping on knobbly. Uh, hey, Karen. You're not stepping on like knots and yarn because the the chenille, you know, it it's a cushioning. But if you have scraps of Bernat blanket or Bernat velvet, those kind of fuzzy yards, I put I throw them in the washing machine. Like throw them. They do not go in a they don't go in a laundry bag. They just literally go in with everything else. They come out great. They come out a lot cleaner than this. But every morning, literally, like in the wet grass, I go out in these like every morning though. I have another pair. Where, I had some here. Where did I, I hid them? I was trying to tidy up for you, but I had, I, I had the second pair of these was just over there by my whip. I have them all over the house. I throw them on all the time. Two hour slippers. This is linked in the cards. So if you roll your cursor over top corner, one of them, this would be me if I was watching YouTube. So I think that's you if you're watching exclamation mark, roll your cursor over and these videos will pop up on the side and two minute slippers is there. It looks a bit Christmassy. Oh, hey, Patty. Well, welcome to the world of crochet. You can totally nail these. They're great. So these are fabulous. These are my winter shoes. Just make them in darker colors. That's what I would do next time. But oh, do you really here? Did I do it? Thank you, son. Thank you. I feel all sassy. I'm like tech savvy. <laughs> yes, smash the like button. Okay, good, thank you. Now I know, I appreciate that. So these are great to make and they'd really be great to make for a whole family because, oh, good morning, San Diego. I love it. I love San Diego so much. Um, you can make them any size and the smaller, the faster. So like, what? It's, they're so quick. So whoever's made these, the two hour slippers, how, how long did it take you to make a pair? Let, tell us how long it took you to make a pair. I think I'm at about 40 minutes, 45 minutes, because like I get, like I take a break between the first and the second. Less than two hours. Yeah, I'd agree with that. This is a hippo here. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> so cute. 35 minutes for Denise. Yes, they're fast, fast. Six millimeter hook. One and a half for you, Karen. Thank you, Candy. He's great. Heidi Bears, it's not my pattern, but you can buy her pattern. They're great slippers to have. How do you get the pattern for the slippers? That's on my website, secretyarnery.com, patterns, and then two hour slippers. One and a half hour. Yeah, but you're finished. You have shoes. What? What? It's amazing. It's really amazing. So don't be daunted. 
by being like, oh my gosh, I can't make a wearable or I couldn't make a slipper. You can totally make these. This is not, there's no rocket science. There's barely counting, barely counting. Gun Girl took two hours. You took breaks. I know you took breaks, but two hours, even if it does take you two hours, like literally two hours, you can, you will have a pair of shoes. Slippers, shoes. Yeah, this is four weight, like chunky acrylic, hold on, four weight chunky acrylic and uh, chenille worsted weight. So I crocheted them with like two strands at a time, one fuzzy and one function. So the, the chenille gives it that nice spongy luxurious feeling and the acrylic is like your wear and tear. Can't read a pattern. Um, how do you get the pattern for the hippo? You have to do a Google search for Heidi Bears. She has an Etsy shop or Ravelry, depending which one you are affiliated with at the moment. Hi, Chris, is Mabel doing okay with her eye? Give him lots of, I know, hey, Jennifer, how are you? Yes, she's all right, she's sleeping. Where did she go? Oh, now she's underneath my desk. She's sleeping, she's doing great. Bye, Pamela, have a great week. So these are super great and really great to make for like a whole family. And the kid ones, like you just start, you're like, oh, gee, it's too big. Like you're finished. Baby ones take like five minutes. Like you start and you stop and you edge it, you're done. Yeah, a flat square. This is kind of like you make like a, you start with a circle, like around, and you go around one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven times, six times. You go around six times and then back and forth, missing six stitches and boom. So you're kind of making like a sled and then you stitch up the heel, edge it, finished. They're so fast. So that's the trick to those ones. Great presents, also great for like school. Like if your kids have to have indoor shoes for school, those are the best indoor shoes. What type of yarn? Regular acrylic plus a, um, a chenille. So this is chenille worsted from Ice Yarns. Plus, thanks Patty, plus um, like a saver. You don't even like saver or saver 100, whatever you have on hand. So those are great. And I can even put them on right now. <laughs> That's how great they are. The other thing you could do as quick, quick, quick gifts. The pattern, yes, there's a pattern. There's a tutorial on the website for the slippers and there is a written pattern on my website. So depending which way you wanna go, there's a free tutorial or a paid pattern. All are there waiting for you. Link to the patterns is in the description box below. Then you just have to scroll down and click uh, like show more, show more until it shows up. You could also do, hey, Michelle, welcome to the party. Coasters, coasters, so handy. And you're in your head, you're like, I don't need coasters. But let me tell you how like all the family is using coasters. Like my, my 13 year old, 12, 13 now, is like, oh, I'm like, oh, I need something for my glass. I was like, well, hold on. What color would you like? Here you go. What we're using coasters. They're so great. And they just keep the condensation. Like, I don't care about my furniture. I don't care about watermarks or like all that crazy. I just don't want to have a wet spot on my table later. Or if I spill, you can also just use it as like a cloth because it's cotton. Hi, Lynn. So those are great. They don't take any time at all. These are like five minutes. Oh, thank you, Sin. There's the link to Heidi Bears. These are great to make and you can pick your colors and make all sorts of different fabulousness about it. And you can also make uh, a bigger ones like for hot plates for your table. So both of these tutorials are on my website, uh, on my channel. And a link to these is in the cards. So scroll over, find the exclamation mark. Boom, these are there. This is there. This you have to still search for. But very handy. And you can make like a little stack of five or a little stack of six and like ribbon them up or tie little like yarn around them and give them as a gift. So cute. Maybe like a pack of tea and some coasters. Adorable, what a sweet gift. So these are also really great to have around. Another one, well, I couldn't find my prototype. I don't know what I did with it or where I'm hiding it, is the double daisy dishcloth. Those are great. They're very practical, right, Amanda? 
And the dish claws are also super great. There is, I, I'll link it in the description box after this one. Hopefully I remember. If anyone can remind me, please do. But they are super great to make and you can make a whole bunch of washcloths stacked up and give that maybe with like a pack your favorite dish soap or some you know rubber gloves or something and have a, a super cute little gift to maybe like someone with their first home or you know, somebody who doesn't get offended by getting dish supplies as a present. So not your wife. <laughs> Don't be giving dish soap to your wife. That's all I'm gonna say about that. But those are super great to have. Dish cloths are super great to make. Best yarn, these ones, Ray, these are natural cotton. So I would use natural cotton, which is my whole entire bottom shelf here, natural cotton. Or I would use uh, baby cotton, which is where? The whitey shelf, this one here, baby cotton. But cotton, 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 or cotton bamboo, but that's a bit luxurious. But just regular cotton, so great. And like they're absorbent. You can, you know, get a, you can catch up a spill, like pick up a spill and not worry like you've ruined something. Just throw it in the wash. You are great, Sin. Mwah, mwah, mwah. That is the, yes. Yes. And if you mess up, it's not a big deal. You're like, it's a dishcloth. Like keep that one. Try again. Back to laundry. Enjoy your day, Patricia. Uh, Mabel's doing great. Oh, oh. Everybody who's following uh, Snuggle and Snore, the English Bulldog Chronicles, which follows kind of like the adjusting and life of my two English Bulldog puppies that I just imported from Brock. I want to say two weeks ago. Has it been two weeks? I feel like it's been two weeks. Uh, we're going to premiere, or I'm premiering a video 15 minutes after we finish here. So 6.15, my time, or whenever we, I know, Jennifer, me too. Don't even start. Don't even start um we're gonna do a premiere over on that channel so we can still talk we can still talk and you'll you'll see her when she goes for surgery and when she comes home from surgery so there's a link for that i think is there a link for that in the description box below if not can somebody hook us up with a link yay i'm so glad snuggle and snore Ooh, love it. I love it. it's so great so anyway hey dollar face what's up you anyway those are one I feel like I have to keep hurrying. Okay, now another one. Hey, Allie. Who knows what these are? Any Anybody new? Oh, good. Well, that must be the premiere. I tried to really hard to set up this afternoon. Because <laughs> last Friday, I was like, well, that would be great if we could still talk. And then that didn't work out. I love them too, Elizabeth. They are one just turned three months. My baby girl just turned three months yesterday. And my boy turned three months last week. Indoor snowballs. Yes, they are. So these ones, yeah, baby. Fabulous. There is a link in the cards. I got that far. I mean, I really tried. Um, these are great to make. So you can have an indoor snowball fight. Do you love them? Sorry about that. My power has gone out. Refresh your screen. Now I'm on my mobile phone data. Your son took them to a party. That's awesome. That's cool. So these are great to make. They're, it's a bit tricky to start making them. Like you feel a bit stressed out, but you can totally do it. And uh, someone else who was super clever made them, uh oh, one just fell down to Mabel. <laughs> She'll be like, thanks mom. Uh, with black yarn for coal. I'm like, I want to make coal for my kid. Honey, no, I'm doing my work. No, you can't talk to me. No. Thanks. Okay, yes. Unplug it carefully. All right. That was polite. So, uh, yeah, don't eat the yellow. So I did some. <laughs> My kids have no idea about, so they've never seen snow in their lives because I, they've all been born in Nairobi, Kenya. So I did some with yellow snow. Like maybe if you're playing, it's like, don't, like if you get bonked with the yellow snow, like you get like less points or more points, it, like, I don't know, something, right? But just for fun, but generally, and you can do like white, white or off white. Yes, they could also be used for water. They'd be great water balloons, especially if you use something like more cottony. Well, I guess acrylic would still work, right? Hmm. You haven't seen snow either. My kids ask all the time, can I see snow? Hmm? Ooh, oh, ah! Okay, well, now I'm back. Power's back. Uh, so these ones are great. Good to get a head start on because they're a bit, you want to have a lot. 
like for my in my head I want to have a lot of snowballs and it's a bit boring to keep making like 55 snowballs but if you get a head start on them a great thing to do like what I wanted to do my intention was having under the tree like on top of all the presents like covered in snowballs so they had to like get through the snowballs to get the presents yeah, make a few every year. That's a great idea. And with a different kind of white yarn so that you're, it's not like that snow. It's like snow can be different, right? Like it doesn't have to be like icy, icy. There is different snow out there. So I think that would be kind of be super, uh, seeing snow oh, it's overrated. <laughs> I've Googled like, where could I take them? They can just see it like 15 minutes. There's a coffee shop. There's some snow. There's a tram. If you go to Italy, <laughs> I want to say Florence, but I could be wrong. There's a two hour tram you can take that you go up and technically right into the Swiss Alps There's a restaurant, you come back down. I'm like, I could do it. I'm like, get out of the tram. There's your snow. I'm, I'm having some, some, you know, some food and some drinks. Get back in, back down to the sunshine. Don't joke. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, over. But I mean, if you haven't seen it, I mean, it's mystical. Even we're talking about snowball fights today, hmm? right? Anyway, I'm always reminded. Sparkle yarn. Yes. Right? They take a, they, they don't take a long time. I think they get boring. Thank you, EC. I'm glad you joined us. Yeah. Cleaning it. Can you imagine? I mean, I can imagine, but like, that's the worst. I'll watch it fall all the time. But like, you know what? Like that dirty melting stage, I could live without it forever. Like dirty melting snow that re-ices. I'm over it. Oh, thanks so much, Deborah. I'm glad you joined us. We're here every Friday. Oh, someone was also asking me uh, like when we do this live thing, when is it? So what to do is it's 5 p.m. in Nairobi every Friday. So you can Google 5 p.m. Nairobi and Google will tell you what time that is wherever you are. And that is where we are. It's generally Friday morning. If it's different, Peggy, refresh your screen because I am... Um, I don't know what, I don't know if I'm on my Wi-Fi now. I'm not on my Wi-Fi. I can go back. Let me try. Eee, oh, eee. Okay, now I'm back. Oh gosh. What about podcasts? I have been meaning okay, for two weeks. I'm like, oh, I'll do one this week. No. And then this week, oh yeah, no, I surgery had a puppy. No. Mm -mm. So next week, crossing fingers, who knows? But eventually, one time, <laughs> I will have a video up. The problem is I can't sit at the computer and do editing. I cannot sit at my computer without having to pick up pee and poop right after. So it's easier to just be outside and hang out with the puppies and wait for them to get used to it. Oh, what a weather storm in the Netherlands. Oh, so great. Is that all? Oh, no, I'm not even done. Eee! Puppy had surgery. She had surgery on her eye. She's doing great. But yeah, no, no, I, yeah. I'm not uh, retired from puppydom yet. So there's a video coming out, Snuggle and Snore, 15 minutes after we finish this. So in like 20 minutes. These are soap sacks. Also great. Oh, hey, Melody, thank you. Enjoy your painters, tell me everything. So these are soap sacks. There's a tutorial on my channel. I don't think I put out the written pattern, not sure. Soap sacks, yes. So these are great. You can just put in your favorite bar of soap and make the bag to fit your bar of soap. A bit smaller. Oh, what did I not, what did I miss? I don't know, I don't know. If, you, if I miss something, then put it in the comments and down below underneath the video. So put your little bar of soap in there. Thank you, Sandy. Yay! And these are great for the shower and they make your soap last a super long time. You made 30 soap sacks for Christmas. They're great. Another thing to do if in like a different way of doing it is to find like super nice smelling soap and use them as like satchels in your drawers or like giving as a gift that way. Like you can give something super pretty, like some potpourri or whatever and a cute little uh, sack. Question of the day, question of the day, question of the day. 
I'm doing it. So these are super great, super fast. I want to say like 10 minutes because you're kind of like going around and you're changing stitches. You alternate to get a texture from double crochet to single. So they're really great. And with cotton or bamboo, bamboo dries faster. If you don't want like a wet cotton thing hanging around, try bamboo. They're super, super fast drying or cotton bamboo. These, this is just with regular cotton, but highly recommend great gift. Hi, Ruth. Hi, Trish. One more, one more. And then question of the day, I got it all. I have it. Barely didn't have it, but I'm going to have it. These are snowflakes. I did not link it in the cards, but you can check my channel, 12 days of Christmas from last year. But these are with milk rings, you know, the ring from around your milk jugs. And they're snowflakes, kind of hard to see. Can you see that one maybe? So they would be super great, even for like for Christmas ornaments. But what I really love about these is uh, gift tags. Wouldn't that be amazing gift tags? Or you could even put like your grandchildren's photos inside and hang them on the tree. Like just kind of glue gun it on the back and make little hanging ornaments for your, like for photos. But I think gift tags would be like so amazing. I know. <laughs> Okay, milk jug ring D taking off thing. You have to go with the spin. If you go the other way, you fight it. You have to go with the way it, it spins off. I have a whole canister by my kitchen sink of milk jug rings. Basically. Oh, Carla, your husband's in the hospital. Oh, blessings and greetings and hugs to him and to you. That's tough. That's a tough, that's a tough gig. So those are a great thing to make. These are called snowflake. Um, I think they're, I don't know, what are they? Five minute snowflakes? Shower curtain rings, totally, totally. Anything like that, that you have. Uh, key rings would be genius. That would be genius. They'd be like, yeah. But that's a little upcycle little tip if you have jugs around. Okay, that's all I have for tips or fast projects. Oh, don't start there, oh, don't start. You get really sick in a hospital. Water bottle rings, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so winner from last week. We're gonna start with that. So every podcast, when I have podcasts, and every live chat, there is a winner who comes back after the video goes to replay and answers the question of the day. So the winner from last week, the question was what? Oh, it was about pets. And she does not have, oops, I folded it totally wrong. She does not have a proper thumbnail. So no point showing you that. But the winner from last week is Glitterati Bengals. And her answer was, hi, Krista, I breed pedigree Bengals. I'm a crazy cat lady and have 25 Bengal cats. I also have a beautiful brindle mastiff called Chili. Then there's my feathered peeps, about 100 Muscovy ducks, nine Sebastopol geese. Sorry about that. Eight, oh, this is a, t this is a test. She has eight Orpington chickens and her favorite breed is a bull mastiff but my next dog is gonna be a French bulldog, Kim in New Zealand. Well, congratulations, Kim. Send me an email with your, it is, right? Makes me, I'm justified. I'm like, woo, clean slate. I don't have anything. <laughs> I need more pets. Um, Kim in New Zealand. So send me an email with your mailing address and I will drop you uh, your little postcard eek, and sticker pack in the mail. And I went, to the post office this week. So everyone will be getting, I'll be mailing everything next week. Cause I had puppies in the car, collars and stuff, but I got all the stamps. I have it all ready to go. We're good. But anyway, I was trying to be quick about it. So question of the day, you're gonna come back. You don't have to answer now. We have to come back after this goes to replay, put it in the comments underneath the video, answering the question of like, what is your favorite fastest 
gift, your favorite Christmas gift, your favorite crochet gift to make, put that in the, in a, in the comments underneath this video when it goes to replay. And if it is another pattern from somewhere else or one of my videos or one of my patterns, go ahead and link it in the comments also. So whoever's looking for great ideas, we can just click on it and be like, boom, there it is. We don't have to like totally search for it. So that would be super helpful in just getting a little handle on getting ready for the holidays and making a whole bunch of great things so we're a bit prepared. I mean, we're not jumping into stockings and all that, but we could have a bunch of coasters ready, a bunch of hair ties. We could have a bunch of quick gifts for those minutes when we kind of forget. Not that we forget. I totally forget. So that's a good thing. Any other business we have to do or we can just jump into food and Netflix because I'm totally into food and Netflix. You have 11 animals. I had 10 dogs once. So I was like, I, like you can say eight dogs. Oh, I have eight dogs. They're like, oh, you have eight dogs. You say 10 dogs. They're like, it's a lot of dogs. Hmm? <laughs> I had eight big dogs and two small dogs, like big dogs. It was a lot. Oh, I'm so sorry. You had to put your cat down. That's awful. Putting any pet down is so terrible. So I'm so sorry. Big hugs to you. And let's just, I hope you can, a quick recap. Lots of projects to make. I can do a quick one. Two minute slippers. Soap sacks. 16 pit bulls at the same time. Jealous. Uh, coasters and hot pads. Three minute hair ties. Indoor snowballs. Snowflakes that can be pictures, gift tags, or Christmas ornaments. Yarn on the arm bag. Boom. Or happy potamus. Thank you, Natalie. Hugs. Hugs with appreciation. Oh, here's my other pair. I was like, where's my other pair? Right at my feet. Full of sticks at the bottom because I walk outside with them. <laughs> These are my winter shoes. Don't, don't judge. So Netflix, I'm still watching Last Kingdom, but I'm, it's fine. It's getting good. I'm season three. It's getting good now. So that's, <laughs> that's what I'm up to. But in the middle of the night now, I've been editing videos on my phone for Snuggle and Snore. So I haven't even been watching Netflix. The puppies have to even taken away my Netflix. Not that I'm complaining about it. Oh, I own herb. Is that good, Anne? I have, is that on Netflix? What's the other one I need to watch? Mischief 13? No, Mystery 13. Oh, I see it at your door. Okay, you have to go. I'm so jealous. Yeah, I haven't had time for Netflix either. I'm stuck on this stranger thing. Warehouse 13, thank you. Yeah, I gotta find that one. Games of Thrones, I've watched all of it. I have not watched the very last episode because I feel like I know what's gonna happen. So it's a bit of a downer. It's a downer in advance. You know what I mean? But uh, no, I, I, I have the last episode to watch. I don't like watching things come to an end. I feel like I'm breaking up with my friends. You know what I mean? Like another life. Oh, what was that other one? Hold on. Afterlife. Oh, I loved it. <laughs> it was so funny. Bondi Rescue, Grey's Anatomy, Madam Secretary. You haven't been watching, been crocheting all the time. Good for you. Right? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Like if everyone's just going to be dead, I'll just be like, okay, it's over. They're dead. I don't want to actually watch it. Outlander, Pretty Little Liars. Oh, and what's the other one? Not Pretty Little Liars. Is it? No, I don't even know her name. Tom Cruise's wife, ex-wife. You know, what's the show? Not Pretty Little Liars. Beauty and the Beast series. Is it Big Little Lies? Big Little Lies? Big Little Lies. And Good Girls, I love Good Girls. Okay, if, is that the one, Big Little Lies? It must be. Okay, thank you. Yes, that's the one. I'm waiting, I was, I'm like, oh good, season two. And then it was like, there's one a week. I was like, what? 
So I'm waiting for that to like stockpile up so I can binge it. Yes, Nicole Kitten. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Anne. Thank you, everybody. Midwife, call the midwife. I'm still, I still have like a half a season to watch of that. Cause again, I feel like I'm breaking up with my friends if I watch the end of it. I'll be like, everyone's gone. I'll be like, where did you go? At least in my head, they're waiting for me. They're just waiting for me, wearing some cute little crochet numbers. That's in, that's how I see it. So don't forget to come back, leave your comments underneath the video of what your favorite go-to fast, quick, easy crochet gift project ideas are in the comments below. Have a, oh, Phyllis, you are late. We're just saying bye. And I think so too. Oh, hi, Terry. I didn't see you. Hi, Terry. Yes, I agree. Like, I just, I just want to hang out with those ladies. That's what I want to do. And I want to have crochet envy over what they're, what they're wearing and then wear it. Okay. Oh yeah. I got to hop over six minutes. I'll see you on the other channel. Have a super great weekend. And hopefully next week I'll really, I'm really, really trying for a podcast. Bye.